Student, today we are going to discuss the relation between linear acceleration and angular velocity. It's a very important formula, the relation between linear acceleration and angular velocity. Okay, it's one of the relation between linear motion and rotation motion. Linear acceleration means the object is moving in a uh, in a linear path. It's a, like a moving from one place to another place. The velocity is going to be increased with respect to the time. Okay, angular velocity, angle changing with respect to the time. It's going to be the omega. Theta is going to be changed with respect to the time. We are going to see what is the relation between these two. Okay, as earlierly we know centripetal force is equal to m v square divided by r. So, F is equal to MA. So, that means A is equal to V square divided by R. Okay. So, we got angular acceleration is the V square divided by R. In circular motion, when the object moving in a circular motion, so it is theta, it is a arc length, it is a radius. Okay. So, theta is equal to S by R. Very simple. If you want angle, you can arc length divided by radius is going to give us the angle. If example, if you want proof, so when full rotation is happen, uh, its arc length is going to be circumference of the circle divided by radius, radius, radius get cancel, theta is equal to 2 pi. So this formula is correct. Okay. So theta is equal to S by R. So S is equal to theta times of R. So just differentiate this equation, uh, differentiate with respect to the time, displacement by time, uh, theta by time into radius. So it is angular velocity. Uh, it is it is angular velocity it is linear velocity it's going to be v it's going to be omega okay the formula is going to change v is equal to omega times of r so formula we are going to get v is equal to omega times of r displacement by time is called linear velocity angular displacement by time we can take it as angular velocity so v is equal to omega r so earlier we have the acceleration is equal to it is a v square divided by r so, V square we know it's omega square R square divided by R. Just substitution only. Okay. R, R get cancelled. So, omega square R is equal to acceleration. Acceleration is equal to linear acceleration is equal to angular velocity times of radius. Thank you for watching my channel. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you everyone.